YouTube, <clears throat> it's your boy Ali the Rock coming to you guys with another reaction video, and yes, it's some more of these episodes. So we're doing uh, 14, 15, and 16, so it'll be interesting to see what's going on with those three. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of information that we've covered, and so it gives you, hopefully it gives you a better appreciation of what you've seen and what it took to get to where they started, to where they are at today, but it's not over. There's more to it than that. It doesn't finish there because now you got to promote it too. So <laughs> that's the next step. So I'm hoping that they'll do the same thing for the next album, that they'll do some interviews and promotion like they're going to be doing in the next um, episode that we're going to be looking at. So let me get my headphones on. Woo, hello. All right. All right. You guys ready? Hey, by the way, just in case I don't tell you, Thank you for watching and subscribing right there, just in case you didn't know. So there it is. All right. Three, two, one, go. After completing an album, you need to promote it too. See? Promote During a two-week PR trip around Europe, the band gave interviews to journalists who were eager to hear about the forthcoming album, Endless Forms Most Beautiful. People reacted primarily to um, how it would take them on a journey. A lot of people seem to have I visions agree. or seem to, you know, get, get a visual when they were listening to the album, which I think is great because it's it has that, that in it for sure. Um, I got a lot of compliments on my voice. People were pleasantly surprised with the uh, the dynamics and the, the different use of voices, and uh, yeah, that was that was a big thing and um, a big reaction to the greatest show on earth. A long story, and people in general have been reacting to that song a lot. Like this is such an epic part. Tavallaan se levy haukis vasta aika pitkälle sitten ennen viimeistään sillä luontoossa kun äänettiin sillä. Lontoossa niitä sinfonia hommia, että siellä se vasta niin ymmärsi, että mi mitä tästä tulee ja miten iso, iso levy taas on kyseessä. But what are the highlights of the album for the artists themselves? Vaikea sanoa tällä hetkellä vielä, että onko jotain sellaista niin erityistä paikkaa, josta olisi niin todella ylpeä. Loppupeleissä kuitenkin niin tollaiset jutut, niin ne, ne paljastuu, kun kuuntelee ajan kanssa. Ne, jotka kestää parhaiten sitä aikaa, niin ne on yleensä niitä juttuja uh -huh. sitten. It makes it the sound a little bit thinner, but also a little bit more like strength. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There are things like high raw stuff that brings out an energy. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm proud of that. Uh, and then there are, there are parts that are com the complete opposite, where I sing super small and tiny and it still has all the heart that I have to give in just that small little sound. That's it. Those things, all of them have something special in them that I'm proud of but I can't really say that cool. one thing in particular because yeah because of the, the, the great challenge that Duomas and the guys have put me into to really use the, the everything I have. <laughs> Touch. Holy crap! That's it for this time. See you again soon. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> ah, God, you gotta love her. Um, you know, it's amazing. The uh, You think that once the album is over, you think, oh, it's done, it's a finish, you know? Yeah, but now you have to actually go sell the album to, to the fans. So, you know, there's other avenues and different things that happens through the process. And it's interesting because a lot of times I, we miss that part of the, um, the evolution process of the band and the things that they have to do. Because we think about the creation of the, the song to the actual playing of the song. We never think about, okay, well, how did it get to us? You know, the process to get to us. There's a lot of work involved. It's not, it's not just a, a five minute thing. You know what I mean? There's that process has to take place. So just an interesting point of view. Anyway, let's go. All right, next one. Here we go. Dear friends, 
our journey has reached its destination. Endless Forms Most Beautiful is finally out. This is downtown Helsinki on March the 27th, the day of the release. Look at that billboard. I love that cover. I love it, I love it. I love, I love the music, the sound, and the outfit, and the, everything about them. And where are you from? From Rio, Rio, Brazil. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Italy, but I, I just came from London because I live in London and I came yesterday for this event. Okay. What makes Nightwish uh, number one band for you? The diversity of the music, all the lyrics of course, and uh, I mean, it's like there's a story behind every single page of the lyrics and every single note is something a like story. That gets you inside. That's what you get How out How long have you been standing in the line? I've been standing in line since half past nine in the morning. But it's okay, because for the previous album I was here, again in Helsinki, and I've been waiting for 14 hours, so it's becoming Woo! kind of a tradition. 14 hours! <laughs> but it's been brilliant. I mean, the fans are so lovely. You know, it's just, what can you do? It's all good for us. Hey, hey, very good. <laughs> Niin kuin Justi ostin, että ainoastaan kuulu kolme biisiä ennen kuin lähdin kaupungille, niin tota Radio Rockilta tuli aina tunnin välein, niin kolme biisiä vasta. No mikä mielikuva niistä on muodostunut? No hyvä, eli sama tahti jatkuu. Mahtava alkoi. Hyvä kuulu. Minkälainen tapahtuma se oli tavata bändi? Ihan tosi hienoa. En ole aikaisemmin tavannut. Nyt on ihan kikseis. Minkälainen toi uusi levy on sun mielestä? Onko sehtin kuulla sitä? Se on ihan uskomattoman hyvä. Mä tykkään. Se on Floron upea ja kaikki muutkin on aivan mielettömän hyviä. Se on... Mä, olen... Mä rakastan sitä. And so it goes. We bid you all adieu for now. But oh the no. Nightwish adventure continues. We're not done. <laughs> there's still more. Uh, there's like five more videos. Um, so, do you notice something very specific about the fan base that came to that particular uh, to to that event to actually get their uh, their CD signed and their poster signed and things of that nature and meet the artists themselves? Is that <clears throat> even in their comments you can hear it's all about the uh, the journey through the music. It's always been about uh, getting to the next process of the story <clears throat> because they know that uh, Tomas's style has always been storytelling. And I think that's what drew me into what Nightwish is, the fact that they are storytelling um, whenever he, and all his lyrics is about a story and he's telling that story, but that story is in his mind and he's bringing it and giving it to you, to us. And I think that's the transition that I see, and that's what I see in the fans as well, is that they they really thrive on the story a portion of each song. Just my take on it, but what do I know? <laughs> All right. Sorry about the echo. I forgot to unplug it. That's the problem with headphones, is that if I don't cover them up like this, you get the echo from the mic. Anyway. All right. Here we go. Next! Go! Yeah, you gotta take that into consideration. Mulla oli tarkka visio suurimpaa osaa niitä kuvia. Jannen kanssa niitä palotettiin edes takas varmaan puolen vuoden ajan ja lopputulos on kova. This is so cool. I love the this part. The collaboration between Nightwish and the artist known as Toxic Angel started with the compilation album Highest Hopes in 2005. Since then, he has created over 5,000 illustrations for the band, including the cover art for Endless Forms Most Beautiful. Well, I think more than more than before, more than any other Nightwish album, he uh, he came up with the for each song, each song, uh, he came up with a a basic idea and then it was filtered through Up as well. and we all um, had comments on it and uh, but there were there were initial 
ideas about how it should look and he realized that just beautifully the artwork is just stunning it took over seven months for Toxic Angel and his partner Gina to finish the graphics for the new album. According to him, the most challenging thing was to capture the essence of a song in a picture, because the moods can change drastically See, within a single the, song. Uh, paper well, on the challenging bottom. or not, the artwork is simply breathtaking. Taste the blonde. Blonde. Man, awesome. Ooh, look at that one. I think Nightwish fans want artwork, they want the physical product, I'm pretty sure of that. They wanted to, to, to seriously absorb it and get to the state where we are and feel it the same way as us. That is so amazing. I love That's it. That's it for this time. We'll be back soon with brand new clips. All right, so those are the three. Um, stick around because I'm actually going to do three more. Uh, I I just I'm so intrigued with the overall um, the whole process that we've gone through. I just want to do the other three. So there well, there's more than three, but I'm going to do the next three coming up here shortly. So stick around uh, for that as well. Um, man, I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. I really love the artwork portion of it. Again, remember what I was telling you about? There's so much work that's involved from start to finish. And it's not just a slapstick together type of group. Um, they really put thought, methodical thought in everything that they do. And uh, the brainchild that we call the Master Tomas actually really, really, uh, that that's all from his brain, really. Let's just be honest. And look at the uh, the final work, the final, and even even the even the new one that uh, the new covers and stuff like that, how it's laid out. Um, I actually did a little bit of homework on the uh, on the whole process, and it was it was amazing to me the length that they go through for each album because I, I got another album that I, I got, but if you look on the inside cover, they also have you know a complete artwork of. A lot of this is from the fans. I really believe that this is what the fans want. They want visual effect. And I see that more and more in everything that they do uh, from the stunning performances that they give through the lighting, through the texture of their music, um, from, the, from the pyros and everything else that goes in between. I mean, to me, it's all visual. And I think us as fans love that effect of the visual work that uh, Tomas uh, did. If you guys remember, in one of the episodes and in one of the interview interviews that we saw a while back, where he talked about how they incorporated the big screen in their performances, uh, where that took a whole different process. Because like he said, he said, I wanted to give a more of a visual effect for everyone to see. And... To have the song playing with the visual effects and the art in the background is stunning. A great example is one of the songs that we will be doing at the end of this uh, segments that we're doing is The Greatest Show on Earth is a great example of that and, and Washi and all of them really. The, the Vatican is, I don't know, there's not one performance that I can't think of that is like all of them or just, even in the Buenosaurus. That also, with the fire and stuff in the background, it's the same process. It's all visual art. It's very cool. Anyway, I'm just rambling, but I wanted to share that with you guys. It's so much fun. Hey, this is your boy, Ali the Rock. Thank you so much for coming along on this wonderful journey that we call Nightwish in this documentary. That uh, It's so wonderful. There's so much, so much information. I hope you guys have taken it to heart, and you guys will be able to appreciate this album even more than uh, than you already do. And I'm hoping, really, 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 really hoping that Nightwish does something with their next one as well. Uh, that's going to be hopefully for 2020. So anyway, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'll be coming doing three more in a second. See you in a little while and stay metal.